In the last video, we talked about opening up side panels with additional content. Well, since you're taking advantage of mobile with jQuery Mobile, you may want to also add some swipe events. Now, the swipe events would allow you to swipe either left or swipe right to, the, to reveal these panels. Well, let's go ahead and come into the HTML file and let's add that script on there. So within the head tag, I'm going to add some script and I'm going to apply this to, first of all, the document. So I'm going to say documents and I'm going to then say dot ready on the uh, when it's ready we're going to apply a function and that function is going to uh, just run an event here and so now I'm going to have uh, within brackets I'm going to go ahead and have that uh, function there and now I'm going to uh, add a function when it's when the document is ready and so this is uh, JavaScript. If it's over your head, you may want to review jQuery, uh, just uh, jQuery tutorials to help you with this. But this will get you ready for, or this will allow you to add on swipe events for um, jQuery Mobile at least. And so we're going to say, we're going to apply this to a certain page. And in this case, we're going to apply it to the ID of page. And the way that you do it is with the hashtag, actually within quotes, first of all, and then a hashtag, you type in the name of the page, which in this case is the ID of the page, which in this case is just page. And we have that saying, okay, page dot on, and we're going to say, okay, what type of function is it going to be? Well, in this case, we wanted to do swipe right. When we swipe right, it's going to open up one panel. We could do click, tap, uh, swipe left, and uh, everything like that. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and swipe right. Now I'm going to add a comma and we're going to say, okay, on swipe right, we're going to run a function. And that function is going to take an event and it's going to be a UI type of event. And so now within brackets, right after that uh, parentheses, within brackets, I'm going to add, okay, what code is going to be run when it's swiped right? Well, that code is we're going to say, we're going to first of all access within quotes, we're going to access the uh, panel that we want to open, which I'm going to say panel, and I'm going to say uh, panel area, uh, and uh, we're going to say dots panel, and uh, we're going to say, okay, panel, you're going to open, and you put this within uh, parentheses, and then within quotes, we're going to say, go ahead and say open. So now what on the swipe event, and this is what we're saying on page one, which here's page one, we're going to, on the swipe right, whenever you swipe right, we're going to run this code, which the code is saying panel area, panel, and we're going to say open. You're ready to open as soon as this happens. So now if I refresh my browser and swipe right, you'll notice that I get the hidden content on there. Now if I wanted to swipe left, let's go ahead and copy and paste that as well. So we're going to say swipe, just right below, still in the document ready function. We're going to say, okay, we're still talking to page one here, and we're going to say swipe left. And on the function, we're going to say instead of panel one area, we're going to actually do panel two. And so that way, let me just go ahead and refresh this. If I swipe left, panel two will open. If I swipe right, panel, uh, just regular panel one will open as well. Um, now, if I take this on a device here, let's go ahead and drag and drop in that index. You'll notice it works perfectly on my um, my iPhone, iOS, or Android, or anything like that. So it's a nice way to add some more touch uh, event elements. And we'll talk about more of swipe left, swipe right in later videos. But in this case, just a way to apply that and to reveal some hidden content behind your page content there.